Welcome back to What Are Two Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a gorilla. It's the tier 5 German SPG and it's located on the north spawn of Tundra under the command of Major Nuisance. Yes, it's one of my alternate accounts. And you can see here I've got my uh, tier 5 gorilla. I'm about to take him out. And this is my uh, first artillery game after the Christmas break. I was away from my computer for a few days and I decided to play a couple of games of RT and this is what happened. Okay, you can see that I'm uh, on a team with a Fifi and a Hummel and the game on Tundra has started and I'm headed off to uh, the west side of the map. I get better shots at the hill from the west side of the map. And my 15 centimetre howitzer is now loaded. I'm riding on a chassis which came from a Panzer 38T, which was actually a Light Viz 38 originally. Also known as the same chassis used by the uh, Hetzer, as well as the Marders. Now I'm dialing in on the south area of the hill, waiting for the enemy to turn up. I know that the enemy is going to come in this direction. It's almost a certainty. They normally do. I just need to wait for the first target to turn up and I can hit them straight away. And while first target's turned up, it's a T-28. And I fire a round in and yes, he's gone up straight away. One shot kill, 350 hit points right out the box. I hit that vulnerable medium tank with a shot right into his side. There was no way he was going to survive the 15 centimeter howitzer shell because the alpha damage from this RT is 540 if it penetrates and it did. And there I got a near miss and did 155 to the T-34S and also another 101 hit points to the T-34 Ordinary. And I got some stun assist afterwards as well. Now I'm indicating the T-34S to let my team know which is going to be the next victim. That other T-34 goes down and the, the T-34S is trying to come around the corner there. And I get around him to do 158 hit points. And he's immediately killed shortly afterwards by our M4, but we lose the M4. And then I notice there's a T-3485 behind me waiting to come around the corner. So obviously I realise I'm in a bit of danger here. If I stay where I am, I am going to get wiped out. So I decide to relocate and move somewhere else. The hill is now no longer occupied by the enemy. So I can actually set up in a different bush, a little further away. I'm being protected from the T-3485, uh, but I've now selected a new target, a KB-85, which is in the heavy area, the heavy pass on the western side. Fire around in. Oh, it falls shallow. Now, that was because I hadn't really dialed in on target. Well, it's my own fault for that. I should have taken the time, let it dial in, and then I would have got a more accurate shot. Okay, well, I'm dialed in now and aiming for that KV-85. Just a few seconds left. 20.28 seconds is the reload. And that one landed just in front of him for 162 and tracked him. But the enemy RT has been spotted in the south and it's a gorilla. It's one of them anyway. So I'm going for him. Dialing in. Not fully there yet. Almost loaded and round out straight away. And it lands right next door to the bush that the gorilla was firing. And you saw the tracer come out there. So I think that gorilla is still there. But this time he's probably badly damaged. He would have been hit by the splash for sure. Well, almost completed the reload. Firing another round in. Round out. This time it went absolutely dead straight to the target. But there's nothing there. So he must have pulled away directly after he fired that shot. And the last, the other RT was another gorilla, and he was seen in that location, just at that spot. And I'm completing the reload, and we just saw the tracer, so we know where that RT is now. He's just there, and the shell goes in, but unfortunately it misses him. It fell short, and there we can see the gorilla move, the one that I fired at earlier. He's only got 23 hit points, and we're following the M44, but... We can see the gorilla. That's the one I damaged in the bush with Splash. He left him on only 23 hit points. So I work out where he's going. Fire the round in. And this time he's a kill. And we can see the other RT was wiped out. So I must have badly damaged him on top. And 
We're just looking for that M44. He's one of only two remaining enemies left on the enemy team. The M44 driver was actually quite a good player. Um, I know that because I saw him in the stats before the start of the game. We're looking for him. We've got a Valentine tank down that end. I'm wondering if he's going to be in that corner. But no, he's been spotted. He's actually moved. He's actually behind the rock face. And he knows that's an RT safe position or nearly RT safe. But I'm dialing in on him and rounds out. Round goes out. And yes, I got him. So I did kill the most best player on the enemy team. Now we've just got this Sav M43 to deal with. And he's being very difficult because he knows how to remain RT safe. He's up against the edge of that rock. Moving backwards and forwards out of sight of us. He's in defilade. So long as he stays there, he's safe. But he pulls out, goes around the corner. And because I had reticule bloom, my shell doesn't go as straight as I would like it to. Okay, so we've lost sight of the Sav. We haven't got anyone near him at the moment. And I've decided I'm going to move towards the enemy cap area. If we can't find the Sav, there's a possibility he might actually try to go north to uh, attack the Arty. And I don't really want to be here if he does. I'd much rather be in the enemy cap area forcing him to come to me. So I'm going to make it directly towards the bridge and cross there because I know the M881 is on a spot overlooking the bridge area and so if the Sav does try to get at me he's going to be spotted. Okay so we're doing quite nicely here. Nobody in sight. Just my own guys and the sound of the bridge creaking under the weight. And there's the Sav. He's been seen. He's moved to the south. And he just gets wiped out by the Hummel on our team before our tanks can get to him. So, game over. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, this is the end of battle stats. You can see it's the first ace tanker that this account has actually had on the Gorilla. Because it's got the scrolls underneath. And when you get the scrolls, it is the first time you've ever had it. I also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. I got 16. And I got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle overall. Um, I got a win eight of 5 one zero seven from that game so pretty good game first one after christmas you don't lose your skill once you've acquired the skill of an rt player you know how to keep repeating it again and again it's like riding a bicycle but a lot more fun anyway <laughs> let's have a look at these good team scores you can see yep yeah, maximum masses massive damage there 1609 hit points of damage the next highest scorer was that t3485 m the one that was threatening me from behind he was actually 1194 hit points and then came the kv85 which i actually attacked he got 1024 hit points when it came to kills again top of the table with three um, I was lucky enough to be alongside the TOG too. He also got three kills, but he got less hit points of damage and earned less XP. And when it came to XP, again, clean sweep, top of the table. I managed to get 949 from that game. Uh, the VK managed to get 706. And then the TOG 2 managed 501. Best score on the enemy team was that T3485M again with 399. So let's have a look at detail report. Well, I only fired 11 rounds during that game. I got three direct hits, including that first shot, which absolutely obliterated that T28 for 350 hit points on the first shot of the game. Uh, I also got three penetrations, so I must have penetrated that T28 and got splash damage on six. Damage of 1,609 hit points and all of it at more than 300 meters. I damaged seven of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance of 153 hit points and stun assistance of 312 hit points off six stuns. On a premium account, I earned 38,040 credits, got 4,565 credits for the holiday ops, and my total came to 42,605. And after you deduct the ammunition costs, when the ammunition is fairly cheap for this arty, you took away a total of 37,050 credits. I got one bond for getting the high caliber, and I also earned 1,423 XP times five for the first victory of the day, 171 for completing the holiday ops. So my total came to 7,288 experience points altogether so that's gonna perk up my crew no end at all so a pretty good first game 
for the griller this uh, in this game but it was something funny happened and this is what you'll actually notice this in the very next video I'm putting up you see I noticed when I actually came out of the battle that this RT doesn't have its first mark of excellence but it's very very close it was actually about 63% at this particular point so I thought well I must play another game in the griller um, just to see if I can reach that first mark. So the next video you'll see from me is also going to be in the griller by Major Nuisance and you'll see exactly how I got on in that one. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.